What about the double slit experiment? That experiment is widely misunderstood. The observer effect, where if you're not looking at it, you get one result, but Amazing. if you look at it, you get another result. And people overinterpreted that as though your consciousness is affecting the experiment. We are illuminated by lights in this space right now. That's how I can see you're there. The light is coming from the bulb, reflecting off of you, entering my retina, going to my brain. Let's say you were smaller. You were half the size. Same effect. Let's keep making you smaller and smaller and smaller. There's a size below which, when I turn on that light, you will absorb that light and jump to another state of existence. How do I know you're here? I turn on the lights. But if you're an electron, I turn on the lights, the photon hits the electron, the electron jumps to a different state. I cannot know what the electron is doing unless I illuminate it. And if I illuminate it, it's doing something different from what it was before I illuminated it. It has nothing to do with consciousness. It has to do with interacting with the object in order to make a measurement. And that requires some way to illuminate it, to know that it's there. It's not your eyes, it's not your brain. It's the fact that you have an apparatus brought to bear on it, and then you'll see particles go through either one slit or the other. They become particles and do that. If you take that away, they interact as waves, and then you get the interference patterns.